want to see also how WikiLeaks has affected you personally. I mean, it seems like, and pardon me, that uh, if, if, if this perception is, is probably wrong, but it it seems like you, you lived in a kind of matrix in a, in, a, in, a, in an underworld, in the world of hackers, and then suddenly you 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 put your head into the real world and these dramatic changes come to your life. How how would, would you talk about how has WikiLeaks changed your, your personal life? This is to a degree a myth. I have been a public person uh, since I was 20 years old. Uh, in one degree or another, famous mainly uh, only in Australia. Um, but within a, a, within a particular subculture of people using technology to achieve political reform well known um, for many years. So I was a um, computer hacker and I started um, my first magazine uh, in um, as a late teenager uh, but that was a long time ago and I spent uh, six years um, going through a, a court process about that magazine um, in my early 20s. But after this, I set up parts of the, the first parts of the Australian uh, internet industry and was involved in promoting uh, and engineering the internet um, in many different ways uh, all over the world and then securing uh, human rights workers using advanced cryptography. And all these things eventually came together in these different paths. Um, to produce WikiLeaks as a solution uh, to what I saw as, as, a, as a problem in the world uh, in that uh, the decisions that we were making as societies was based on a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we must know how the world really works if we are to manage it properly. And we have some good knowledge about the weather and about chemistry, and physiology, and medicine, and all those other wonderful things that science and engineering give us. Uh, but they are all managed by institutions and governments. Mm -hmm. And we do not have strong knowledge about institutions and governments and how they work in a modern society. And do we have strong knowledge about how our management systems work and our political systems work, we cannot possibly promote particular political theories or courses of action about how to deal with them. Do you think that is why you're being, or do you feel you're being, like, I don't know the exact word in English, but chased would be that, prosecuted? I mean, uh, well, I mean, it, WikiLeaks over the past four years has revealed a lot of very important information about over 120 different countries. But the response to us is also revealing important information. So we have on the one hand Hillary Clinton saying censorship is bad um, and the internet must not be censored to countries like China and Iran have on the other the State Department applying pressure to many different organizations to stop us. And that includes sort of most dramatically these economic blockades set up by Visa, MasterCard, Bank of America, PayPal, Money Bookers, Western Union, and so on as well as pressure applied to US companies like Amazon uh, to not deal with any of our technical infrastructure, moves to try and add me personally and WikiLeaks to the US specially designated persons list, um, which is a, a similar embargo arrangement to that used on Cuba and on Al-Qaeda. Bills in the US Senate to declare us a transnational threat make us all yeah. enemy combatants so that we can be targeted like Al-Qaeda. And all of these things merely for publishing. Before you, you went in 
into these, in, uh, especially into these three packages and the fourth that, is, that, that they say is about to come. But uh, did you see yourself uh, in this risk? Weren't you afraid of uh, ending up in, in prison like Bradley Manning did? Or uh, I mean, yes, but we we, we, grand jury in, in the we saw this risk very clearly. We have engaged in many different maneuvers and strategies to try and minimize the risk but we were all aware that the value of this information uh, exceeds the value of our own lives I, I have just two more questions uh, uh, and that it must must be published at all costs there was a time <coughs> when the Pentagon uh, the State Department US intelligence was chasing me and investigating all of us uh, prior to the publication of the diplomatic cables uh, where we were not certain that we would win where we were not certain that the information would be published eventually would you do it again of course yes yeah. even though now that you know the risks are big well the the risks are big but i mean um, yes that there is a brewing us Expedition case. Um, there is a Swedish expedition case. Um, our people are detained um, every time they go uh, over the US border. But if we look at the risks taken by the revolutionaries in Cairo uh, and in Egypt, and, uh, sorry, in Cairo and in Tunisia. Uh, Tunisia uh, and elsewhere, uh, actually what we are suffering from is, is rather minor uh, in comparison. In the other side of the coin is that you have become one of the most famous people in the world, Rolling Stones named the Rockstar of the Year. Uh, what do you think in moral terms that you should do with this fame that you have? It's always a privilege to have an audience, and this is something that I said um, before this uh, intense level of fame. So we are at the luxurious position now of being able to promote uh, the material that whistleblowers are giving us as a result of our own fame as an organization. comes with, with a lot of costs. So the cost that it comes with is it's very hard to speak to anyone anymore because it, every conversation uh, is worth a risk. Every conversation is worth money. It can be spun. Um, every meeting that I have um, people can misreport um, and there's an economy and an enemy uh, to support that. So it, it has made us rather uh, reclusive, uh, which is which is difficult. On the other hand, it has given us a tremendous platform uh, from which to uh, promote our values. And from a historical perspective, how do you see your, your role in the world? The way history history is progressing is changing. So we can see what our role in the world might be using the formula of the history that has occurred in the last 50 years. But the way history will unfold in the next 50 years is going to be very, very different. But we're very proud um, of our accomplishments and very proud of having stuck uh, to our values so strongly against incredible uh, opposition and that is something I, I cannot see changing. As we 
WikiLeaks change your, your personal life? This is to a degree a myth. I have been a public person since I was 20 years old, uh, in one degree or another, famous mainly only in Australia. Let me ask you a little bit about yourself, because uh, I want to see also how Wikileaks has affected you personally. I mean, it seems like, and pardon me, uh, that uh, if, if, if this perception is, is probably wrong, but it it seems like you, you lived in a kind of matrix, in a, in, a, in, a, in an underworld, in the world of hackers, and then suddenly you, you 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 put your head into the real world, and these dramatic changes come to your life. How how would would you talk about how? But within a, a within a particular um, subculture of people using technology to achieve political reform, well known um, for many 